Can you guess what this is? Stay tuned to find out. It's draw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. It's Christmas week. Well, Merry Christmas and welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is Christmas week on Draw Time, so we'll be drawing things that have to do with Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a fireplace. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, today we're drawing a fireplace, and I'm just using a regular pencil. And because we're drawing a lot of longer lines, I'm going to be using a ruler for a straight edge. In fact, we're going to turn our paper horizontal, and then I want to start with my ruler. I'm going to come down from the top a little ways, and this is we're going to make the mantle first. This is the wooden piece. It's like a shelf up at the top of the fireplace. And this one is about seven inches. Oh, didn't even draw it. Let's try it again. About seven inches long here. Okay, and then I'm going to make a short little line on each side. Then I'm going to line up the ruler so that I can draw a line that's parallel to the top, going the same direction and the same width apart all the way across. So this is the mantle. Now you could draw, extend the um, fireplace or the bricks going above the mantle if you want. For this drawing I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to draw the main part of the fireplace. Okay, then I want to draw some vertical lines. This is going to be for the sides of the fireplace. Now you see fireplaces in artwork, in, on TV and pictures around Christmas a lot because of Santa coming down the fire down the chimney and usually people hang their stockings up here across the mantle. In fact you could do that when we get done. You could draw a picture of stockings up there. Okay now I'm going to draw another line that goes out past the edge on each of these sides and this is going to be here at the base of the fireplace. I'm going to make two vertical lines. They're a little bit taller than the mantle up here. Just straight up and down. And then I want to draw the base of the fireplace here. And again I want to make line up my ruler so that it's parallel with this line up above. Alright. And I've got this little extra metal edge to the the ruler and that's what the pencil is getting caught on that. I'm actually starting to draw on that instead of alongside of it. So if you have one like that you might double check before you pick up your ruler because like I did up here and I started to do down here I was actually drawing on the ruler and not on the paper. So you want to make sure you're drawing on your paper and get that line drawn before you pick up your ruler. Okay so this is the basic shape for the fireplace. Now I'm going to draw the opening and you can measure this all out. I'm just going to kind of eye it and try to have, what I'm going to do is draw a little line here. This is about how wide I want the sides to be. And then I can come over here and figure out how wide it should be over here. Now if you want to be exact and measure, this one about one and three quarter inches and then I would do the same thing over here to get them exactly even. This one might be a little bit off because I'm just going by sight, but if you want to measure it exactly that will work too. Okay, and then I'm going to draw, I want to figure out how far up I want to come. I think I want mine to come up about this high right here. So I'm going to draw a vertical line that's parallel with this outside edge. Use my straight edge. Okay, and then I want to do the same thing over here. And I can line up the outside of the ruler with the straight edge or with the outside line here of the fireplace. Try to get them the same, going the same direction, going parallel to each other. Okay, and then the top of the fireplace, I can try to use this as a guide up here, the mantle. And again, all these things you could measure them if you want to get them exact. But if you, after you do this for a while, then you can kind of get a feel for your lines and keeping them straight and all. Okay, so there's the opening of the fireplace. Now I'm going to draw some lines 
the bricks are stacked up and I'm going to draw lines that, that show the divisions between the bricks where the mortar is. And I'm going to start here at the top and work my way down. I want to figure out about how tall I want the bricks to be and I'm going to say right about here a little bit wider than the mantle. Or in this case it looks higher, taller than the mantle just a little bit. And I'll come down and do another line and I'm just going to do this all the way down. Just keep drawing horizontal lines all the way down. Now this same technique will work for chimneys. If you're drawing the outside of the house, you can do the same kind of thing. If you're drawing a castle, it's made out of anything that's made out of bricks. Now, here's a problem. This doesn't match up with the top of the chimney, or top of the fireplace opening. So what I can do looks like I'm getting off just a little bit but what I can do then is use I can use the top edge of the fireplace as my line when I get to that point so it may be a little wider brick or taller brick or it might be a little um, thinner brick but this one's going to work out just about right. So I'm going to use that line and then go all the way across. Okay, so this might, this is about the same size as these are going up. Then I'm going to continue down. Now when you do it around the opening, then you just have to line up both sides. This is a, a good place to use a ruler because then you can get it straight on both sides. And you don't have to draw all the way across. I mean, you could do that. You could draw all the way across and then race on the inside, but that's a lot of extra time. And then not only that, but it's a lot to erase because you won't need it here in the opening of the fireplace. Winter months, if it's kind of nice to have a fireplace that you can sit around and keep warm. The only thing about it, you do have to empty out the ashes and you do have to chop the wood. Unless, of course, it's a gas fireplace and then you just have to pay the gas bill. <laughs> okay, so here's the, the vertical, I mean the horizontal lines. Now it's time to do the vertical lines, the, the actual bricks. And there's an alternating pattern to that. And you can start top or bottom, it, it doesn't really matter. But once you have a, a place that you do start, a fixed place, then you just work out from there. And I think I'm going to just, the way we've been working top down on the horizontal lines, I think I'll do the same with the vertical. So I'm going to come up here and make, I'm just looking at this, and I'm going to make a rectangle for the brick. And so I'm just going to figure out about what size I think one brick ought to be. And then I have to try to keep that distance on all the rows here of bricks. So I'm going to come over this far, I'm going to do it again for another brick another brick. Now I'm going to get here at the end and it may not even be even and that's okay. But you know what? It's working out pretty close. That's pretty close to being even. Okay, so that's one row of bricks. Then I can go down. An easy thing to do on this is to go ahead and complete every other row of bricks. And the way you can do that, let's start on this right side. I'm going to take the edge of this brick right here and put my ruler against that edge and I'm going to try to line it up with this outside edge of the fireplace and then I'll put a short line on every other brick. So this is the top one here and I'll skip one and I'll do a line, skip one, do a line, skip one, do a line, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so you get something like this. Then I'll do that, I'll repeat that with all of these bricks. Now that one's going to line up pretty close to the edge of the fireplace, so that's pretty neat. It may not always do that, that's okay if it doesn't. You just work with where you're at in the process and just... and uh, If it lines up, great. If it doesn't, then you just work with what you have. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing here. Here's a brick, I skip one, I make another line. Skip one, make another line. Do it again. I'm doing to each of these 
vertical lines up here at the top matching them and continuing them down for bricks down below because the bricks have an alternating pattern and that just helps the stability of the structure that's being built, the fireplace in this case, by using the bricks. If you had them all lined up all the way down, then the whole thing is going to fall apart a lot easier. It won't be as stable. Okay, so that's half the bricks. Now we got to do the other half. And the way we do that, I'm going to go to this second row here, and in between the outside edges of the first brick, on the second row I'm going to make a line right in the middle. Okay, so between these two edges here, I go down and make a line in the middle. Between these two edges, same thing. All the way across. Okay, now I can do the same thing I did with that first row of, of bricks, and then I'm going to line up the second row and then draw every other one with them. Okay, and this is this is an easier way to do it and it will keep them all nice and straight and it makes the whole thing look nice. So it has a lot of benefits to doing it this way. And if you use a straight edge it's even even easier. Okay. Alright, you just have to pay attention to what you're doing, that's the only thing. Because <laughs> you can still mess up even with an easy process. Alright, let's see, there we go. So far I think I'm doing okay. Alright, one more. Okay, now how you finish this fireplace out is going to be up to you. I'm going to show you one more thing we can do. But again, you could you could put a clock up here, you could put candlesticks, you could uh, decorate somehow. Um, you can work this into a larger picture of a room. Now, what I'm going to show you next, I'm going to show you how to put a fire in here. Now, of course, if Santa Claus is coming down, you don't want to leave a fire for him. You might still have a, a grill or a uh, something to hold the wood down here. I guess that'd be a grill. All right, so I'm going to draw this rack here that you put the wood on. Start by drawing just a long kind of a trapezoid shape. Okay, and then I want to make two little legs that come off of this. And what this does, in real life, what you do with this, you put the wood on it, and then as it burns, the ashes fall down below, and the fire is still able to burn because there's air can get around it, around the wood. Um, there's little legs there. I'm going to color those in. And then I'm going to put... There's actually these slats here that so air can get through. So I'm going to make some thicker kind of stripes here, and the in between places are just empty spots. Okay, and I want to make the bottom and top thicker too. Okay, now I'm going to put the logs on top of this. I'm going to start with a kind of a curved shape. The log actually goes down inside this, but I can only see what's sticking above. And so I'll make two curves, almost like parentheses there, and then a line across. It doesn't have to be even. Logs are very uneven on the bark side, on the outside here. I'm going to make a little bit shorter log here. And then I'm going to draw lines for where the bark is. 
wavy lines. And then I could shade this all in. And even inside the bottom part here. Now you could color this in. In that case this would be brown or um, depending on what kind of tree it is you'd have the color of the bark. Alright, and then I'm going to draw an indication of fire up here at the top. Some curvy lines of like flames. You could color that in also. And one last thing, I want to shade, put some shadow on the inside here, some shading on the inside to indicate that this goes back into the wall. Give it a little bit of depth there. And underneath here the same. And you can decorate this for Christmas. You could draw some stockings hanging from the mantle. The uh, goal today though is just to show you how draw a fireplace. So this is our project for today, a fireplace. Well that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again and remember if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Burr. Well, if you're wondering what this is, it's a top view of a fireplace brick. Well, thank you for watching until the end, and I'll see you next time.